The literature on moral relativism has made this all seem much harder than I think in practice it is. It seems to me that once you understand what it is for uh, a human being to suffer, which is something that we learn very young as children, um, you can see that uh, you ought not to bring that on other people unnecessarily. Do we have an obligation to intervene when other people are doing it? I think, um, again, I think we just have to think about that in the way that we normally do think about these things, which is we ask, first of all, do I have the capacity to intervene? Is there anything I can do that would be helpful? Do I have a special relationship to it? If I do, that raises the stakes, it makes it more likely that I have the obligation to intervene. Basically, I think most people in the world accept that they have, especially these negative obligations, not to cause harm, not to be responsible for doing bad things to people for no reason and so on. Take the language of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which begins by saying that these rights are grounded in the equal dignity of human beings. To say that someone has dignity is to say that they have properties in virtue of which they have the right to be respected. And how that respect shows up depends on which property it is you're thinking about. So the fact that people can suffer uh, grounds the, the, the dignity right, as it were, of to be protected from suffering. We're seeing this in relation to, to issues of women and gender, I think. There's remarkable shifts are going on in the world, which uh, relatively recently began. Um, to some extent uh, in, the, in the North Atlantic world, but w women's rights uh, catches on pretty easily uh, in most places and even in the places where, w which we think of as kind of most resistant. Which doesn't mean that I think that, you know, we'll all we'll solve all these problems, we'll all end up in exactly the same place, I, I, either anytime soon or even necessarily ever. Um, but I do think the areas of disagreement, the important areas of disagreement are getting smaller. I believe that uh, it's obvious that there are things more important than obeying the law. I don't think any serious person denies that. Uh, but uh, I respect you know, good laws properly made, and I even respect bad laws uh, if they're properly made. But that isn't the most important thing in the world. And if someone is, um, if a state is doing things that violate the fundamental dignity and rights of human beings, then I think um, it's okay. In fact, it may be required to break the law in order to achieve uh, what's right. 